little bit for us. Oh, hi. Welcome to our extremely silly occupation. Hey, now, we are working for serious change. Right, silly people working for serious change. Are you screaming? Thanks, yeah. Awesome. Transparency all the way. Transparency as in sharing information, not keeping secrets, right? Blessed are the truthful. No, but it's more than that. The camera doesn't lie, you know? What you see is what you get. There are no slanted headlines on live stream. You can't be taken out of context on live stream. Storytelling doesn't get more raw than this. You do know our lives aren't stories, right? Well, right. But Don't there... listen to her. She just likes to stir up the pot. Stir it up. Good. No, no. I want to stir to all of you and find out why you're here and what you're doing, and I... All I'm doing is talking. Hi, I'm Lydia. Christiana, you're sitting in my pot. Hi, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, Jacob, why are you occupying? Uh, wow, I'd say three main reasons, really. Uh, getting money out of politics, D.C. statehood, and, and fighting the abuses of the military-industrial complex. Okay, um, what about the military-industrial complex is abusive? Wow, okay, where to start? Uh, basically, it offers the lower classes a chance of the American dream, as long as they'll agree to be cannon fodder. I mean, it makes us kids go to war. We don't have to. Us kids? Yeah, I was in Iraq in 2000. Thank you for your service. Thanks, but I, I feel better serving this way. And serving the Lord. Yes, yes, I'm going to divinity school next year. And what am I going to have to call you after that lieutenant padre? That's fascinating. Sergeant Savior. Anyway, Lydia. Corporal Crusade. Damn. Why are you occupied? Me? You're totally sitting in the camp. Well, I'm, I'm reporting. You can report and occupy. But that would be biased. There you go. Citizen journalism, be a citizen. You don't have to be unbiased, just be fair. Uh, so, um, Christiana, right? Why are you occupying? It's not about me, it's about the people. Are you serious? We're sleeping in a public park. There are reporters here every day. We're the story, whether we like it or not. No, we just make folks listen to here the story. Here we go, story. I'm very sorry. The story is the people in poverty, or middle class, but in enough debt it might as well be poverty, who can't talk about it with their neighbors because they don't know their neighbors, or they they want to keep up appearances too. Their neighbors or their neighbors would just as soon shoot their ass no for a dollar and fix. So we will be their neighbors. We will give them space to talk about all this right here in this park. We will give them space and we will listen to their stories and we will tell their stories. But we will not use their stories. The story is the people. The story is the movement. My life is not the story. And you've not just been filming me this whole time. Oh, God. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I didn't even think no, I... No, that's all right. Now. I'll you that elsewhere. But in return, I will offer you one of my delicious hand rolled cigarettes. Wow, that is so kind of you, but um, I don't smoke that. No, you don't, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Yes? Excuse me, uh, are you good in math? Excuse me? Are you good in math? Uh, I majored in journalism, so if that gives you an I'm idea. I'm just having a hard time That's figuring true. this one out. We, okay. We got the 99%, right? Mm -hmm. and, and 99 is bigger than one. But, but it's still a percentage, and it, and it needs to be divided. So 156,722 <laughs> divided by how many months? And, and then, there's a lot of money in the world, but, yeah. but there's not enough to go around. And then, one is bigger than 99. And then, oh, I don't know, can, can you help me out here? Are you hungry? Um, do you want a sandwich? It's from Yippee Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I want to eat that. <laughs> That'll help. I'm glad. You're good. You're very pretty. Thank oh, you. Oh, hey, Abe, would you like to go to GA? All that talking? All those rules? Yeah. Sure. Um, so, everybody's welcome. Mic check. Mic, Mic check. check. Instead of our father. Instead of our father. We say mic check. We say mic check. Mic check calls us. The mic check calls to us. To action. To action. And to service. And to service. It calls us. They call us to listen to, to, listen. to each other, to, to, each other. And to ourselves. And to ourselves. It calls us, it calls us to our temple. To our, our temple. Which is democracy. Which is, is democracy. democracy. Welcome to GA, everybody. General Assembly. Okay, I've listened to GAs and I've watched them on other live streams. Let's be honest. I never paid much attention. They're long, but I try to keep up. 
I'm Jamie. I'm going to be your facilitator this evening, which means I keep the conversation moving, but I do not lead. Tonight, we're going to be working to come to consensus on a couple of projects brought to us by our working groups. I'm going to periodically check the temperature of the room, see how you feel. You're going to indicate this by using hand gestures, such as a wiggle, which means Woo! flat hands, which mean uh. and down twinkles. Twinkles. Really? Fun fact. Twinkles come on the side for applause in deaf culture. Oh. Plus, it's easier to keep a conversation moving in a loud crowd. It doesn't disrupt the flow, and we can see but, something moving. But I, <laughs> they're called twinkles. Okay, GA usually goes on for a couple hours, but how about we fast forward to the end? So, any announcements? One, two, three. The student debt march is on Wednesday. We're meeting at noon tomorrow to finalize the language of the declaration to modify DC. <laughs> and please come to facilitator training on Thursday so I am not the only one up here. <laughs> Great GA, everybody. Thanks. Okay, so D. O'Connell asked if I can get closer to the end and pretend um I sure can. Is that better? Okay. Turn you around. And see if I can use some templates. Oh, shit! Oh, oh, shoot! <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> at least you know we're going to be looking at the camera. At least I know you're checking me out. Touche, newbie. That is assuming you're a newbie. Assuming you're here to help the movement, not hurt it. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. Just you were lurking in a corner, filming GA unannounced without asking if anyone had any objection. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but what about transparency? What about everybody's welcome? What about the goals of your whole supposed movement, huh? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. It's, it's just been a day. I mean, it's bad enough for most of these people think the feds are watching their every move. But now I'm getting reports that as long as we're occupying this park, they might not be wrong. Twitter accounts are being subpoenaed. Protesters are getting round up. I just, I don't know what to think. Would you like some coffee? What? Do you want some coffee? <laughs> like leave and go to Starbucks? <laughs> no, the food tents. Although it might be from Starbucks for all I know. Uh, QA. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jamie. Lydia. <laughs> we got some cream today, ladies. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Save the <so> bougie. <laughs> Does he work here? Oh, it's something to do. Oh. Abe has been <laughs> occupying no. the park longer than it. No. I wasn't <laughs> occupied. I was, I was just sleeping. You want to know occupying? No. We occupied my school for two days protesting Vietnam. Fat a lot of good that did. And this isn't going to do any good either, although, you know, you're good kids and maybe you have a couple of good ideas. Intense. Oh, intense. Mm -hmm. They gave me a tent for their donation stash. It's got a zipper and a lining. Very, very sound structure. It must have cost them a hundred, a hundred and fifty. Why does he keep saying that number? I don't know. It's got something to do with unpaid medical expenses. Eh? His wife died of cancer. I mean, it's horrible. Yeah. You know, I used to see Abe every day on my work. Sometimes I try not to see him, but he's always there. You know, we keep shouting things like, we are unstoppable, another world is possible. Well, if it is possible, I hope it's a world where we can take better care of people like Abe. Um, so, do you want me to take you on a tour of camp? Sure, to be my camp counselor. Um, so, we really do have a full-fledged neighborhood here. We may only be a city block big, but technically we have three times the population density of Tokyo. Wow. No. Um, over here is downtown. All of your community organizing and shopping needs conveniently located next to the sidewalk. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's our tent. Uh, finance tent. Medic tent. Comfort station where Abe got his tent. The info tent. And food tent. You know what this camp reminds me of? What? You know, like the Simpsons episode where Lisa grows this tiny civilization in a petri dish. Oh my god, and they grow from cavemen to spacemen in like two days. God, I love that episode. <laughs> yes, we are definitely evolving fast. You know, 
I like to think of us as the primordial soup of social change. <laughs> oh, over here is the library. Um, we have over a thousand books, all donated, all catalogs. And then, of course, next to it is the anarchist library for the alternative to our alternative. Oh, right. I remember seeing some of those guys who were anonymous with the, with the guy Fox No, more punks than anarchists. And Christiana would yell at you about the difference. Christiana, she's, she's not an anarchist, is she? Yup. And <laughs> very vocal about it. Huh. Uh, no, I would, um, I would stay away from <coughs> the southeast end at night if I were you. No, okay, so we, we, we have guards and patrols, but it's, it's hard because we're all about including everybody, but everybody includes everybody the rest of the world left behind. Um, oh, this way we have the tourist protesters. <coughs> tourist protesters. Yeah, the guys who protest for the sake of protesting. They're here for the party. What? Yeah, <laughs> Check out my new side. <laughs> yeah, I <am>. yes. <laughs> Yes. No, 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 he helps. He does. And, and we need his enthusiasm. But, okay, so I am very protective of this movement. I mean, we are only a week old, but look at how far we've come. I mean, finally we are hearing about people and what they want, and not just Kim, her fucking dash. <laughs> And all of those job creators who just need one more tax break and then they'll make a job they promise. <laughs> so, uh, do you have a job? <laughs> yes. I work at 9 to 5 at the SBIU. <laughs> you? Uh, the usual. Uh, underemployed, decent college grad, living at home. Uh, child in recession. Scratch that. Unemployed. Um, I. I just quit my bartending job out in Roanoke. Sure, I don't blame you. And I took the bus out of here. You know, all the, the jobs reports are on the news. Jobs this, jobs that, number of jobs gained, number of jobs lost, but is anyone reporting on what kinds of jobs those are? Do they pay a living wage? Do they offer a basic sense of dignity and self-worth? Were they worth the very expensive degree that you will now be paying off for the rest of your life? So we hit a nerve there. About $80,000 worth of nerves, courtesy of Uncle Sam and Sally Mae. No, oh, Sally Mae is a raging bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we are marching on them next week. I heard. You know, there's a lot of things that just aren't okay right now. Shit. Fucked up and bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so um, that's live tweeting. <laughs> live streaming. Yes, live streaming. Um, that is really important to the movement, and <laughs> I hope you'll keep doing it. I'm planning on it after I get some sleep. All right, good night, guys. So, I just have to set up my tent. Where's yours? I don't have a tent here. You don't have a tent? No. Okay, so, I come here every opportunity I have, but I pay rent on an apartment in DuPont Circle, so... Yeah, no, I don't sleep here. Oh. No, no, don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Hey, Jacob! Take off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure that Lydia here gets a nice tract of land for her tent. And she is going to help you at info tomorrow. Awesome. <laughs> Wait, I'll be what? I'll be great. I'll be doing what? Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. If the 60s, if the 60s was all about free love, was all about free love, occupy, occupy, it's all about free work. It's all about free work. I survived the night just fine, but I woke up with a stiff back and a full bladder. Jacob? Jacob. Yeah. Jacob, where do we pee, Jacob? Daylight hours, Starbucks. Hey, let's do that. So far. I bought a latte, just to be safe. And I washed my face, and I brushed my teeth, and I wondered what it meant to rely on a corporation to do those things while I was here, and I... I wondered what the hell I was even doing here. And then as I'm sitting there, 
someone knocks on the door, and without even thinking, I just yelled out, hey, occupied! And <laughs> I laughed like a crazy person. And I stumbled back to camp, just in time for some K Street lobbyist to yell at me. Get a job! No, I have a job. I have a job. I used to have a job. This is my job. I'm documenting student loans. I'm documenting. Go. Just don't listen to her. It's the third morning in a row from now. She yelled at me. She doesn't even know me. Exactly. She doesn't. Don't let it get to you. I mean, it's not like it's Jamie yelling that at you, is it? What's that supposed to mean? I saw you two last night. You should go for it. You don't even have to talk about my personal life. Good morning, General Jesus. Good morning, Che. Don't even call me a box, Because it's totally different from anarchism, right? Just don't, don't I mean, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm so right there. I'm great. How are you doing? What's that you got behind your back? Found it on the street. Oh, she's going to shit all over this movement and everything we stand for. She's your fucking latte? You make me sick. sucking us dry every last penny. I don't think you kids even know what you're doing I here. I have a website I think you people would be very interested in checking out. Okay. <laughs> I never paid much attention to politics, but this you is You know so what exciting. you should do. And to their abuses. Ignorant hippies. Bandwagon. Traitors to America. Entitled hippies. Filthy, filthy, raping, murdering freaks. You've got to just ignore the hate. How? One of them threw her mint at me? Are you serious? Yeah, like from her mouth. We're supposed to think about her coming to get me spit on. I didn't know DC had an octopod. Yep, this is week four. Hi. Hi. Okay, uh, so what's the deal here? We are We're working for social change. So what does that mean? We are making more things better for more people. Um, smile for the camera. We've got we've got 20 whole viewers right now. Uh, hi. So, uh, what, do you have any demands? Well, we don't really have demands. We're, we're trying to start a conversation. A conversation about what? What are the problems in our society and how do we solve them? Oh, okay. Well, then you'll have demands, right? Not necessarily. A list of solutions, then. We might. A political candidate? Who knows? I'm sorry. What is the goal? 
look at it this way. Are you, are you religious at all? Kind of. I'm, I'm Christian. Okay. So, so what's the goal of Christianity? The goal? Uh, yeah. Wow. I'm not really sure it works like that. Um, uh, salvation, maybe? A daily good works? Sure. And are those things that you just achieve and then be done with? Well, of course not. No, you have to keep doing them keep working for them. Right. We're here so we can keep talking about change. We're here, we're here so we can keep being here. Not just to just accomplish one or two things and then go away. So you mean you're gonna keep sleeping in parks forever? Probably not, but we'll still be working for the 99%. You know, uh, my best friend's actually a surgeon. She makes like 400k a year. Does that make her the 1%? Technically, yeah. Yeah. So do you have something against my best friend? Not at all. We're not here to demonize the rich. We're just against the whole system because it favors, favors banks and lobbying firms. It favors political corruption. Have you um, seen that one near the 99% Tumblr? Right. Oh, yeah. Gosh, those are some sad stories. Yeah, I was looking through those pictures. and You know what word I saw the most? Debt. Student loan debt. Or maybe I just saw that because... I have a ton of debt for a journalism degree that I have no idea how I'll pay off this job market. Ah. Yeah, and then afterwards, rent, bills, mortgage, kids, none of which these people can afford. You have a mother who goes hungry to feed her toddlers, and I, I'm thinking, these people aren't asking for the American dream. They're not asking for your two kids, your two cars, your white to defense. They, we, are just asking not to be financially ruined, not to be indentured servants to a bank. It's, it's kind of like we're, we're peasants in medieval times rather than citizens of the richest country in the world. Way to go, lady. Wow. Huh. I've never really thought about it like that before. I mean, I'm certainly not living like a peasant, but I really do worry about being able to afford school for my kids. I mean, the way the tuition rates just keep going up, but you, know, you got to go to college, right? I mean, what other choice do we have? We are having a rally oh. about this. <laughs> Would you like a flyer? Sure, I'll take one. Great. Uh, I'm going to wear this. Okay, big old fairies. Woo! I'm going to pick a fairy. Awesome. Thank you, Jamie. So, I am taking a long lunch with the declaration meeting. Ma'am, would you like to witness history in the making? We are about to finalize the language on the official documents that state why we are here. You guys have official documents? I know, right? People just think you're a bunch of hippies banging drugs. Oh no, honestly, with that too. I mean, Occupy is a big tent. Oh, come on. No, no, pun not intended. Uh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> I tell people all the time, you are the suggestion box. If you see something that needs to be done, you might be the best person for the job. Uh, keep that in mind. <laughs> so, uh, what is this meeting? Oh, we're actually just about to get started. I'm Jacob, by the way. Oh, Nice to meet you, Nancy. Are you going to come join us? Sure. I'll stay watching. All right, guys. Are we ready to declare ourselves? Woo! <laughs> As I listened in, I thought some more about democracy and hand gestures. One person, one vote, or one button on a Diebold machine that you hope gets counted. On the U.S. Senate floor, this is a nay vote. But these days with constant filibusters, it's a vote not to vote. But this. As they argued back and forth, persuaded, cooperated, it wasn't just one person, one vote. It was one person, one voice. We are assembled. We are assembled. We are assembled. We are assembled. We are assembled because financial institutions gambled with our savings, homes, and economy. Because leaders are trading our access to basic rights in exchange for handouts to the ultra wealthy. Because the harsh economic conditions that have plagued the poor, working class, and communities of color for generations have begun to affect the previously financially secure. Because corporate interests threaten life on Earth by extracting and burning fossil fuels and resisting the necessary transition to renewable energy. Because the residents of Washington, D.C. continue to lack autonomy and legislative representation. And I thought, 
about the Declaration of Independence, which took two years to write, and which was actually founded on the idea that another world was possible. Sound familiar? It actually took two years to write. The founders of this country got together, list of grievances, and overthrew a king. We list of grievances and asked people to talk to us. A better world is possible. We, the Washington, D.C. General Assembly, occupying K Street at McPherson Square, urge you to exercise your right to peaceably assemble. And reclaim the common. Reconceive ways to build a democratic, just, and sustainable world. To all those who value democracy, we encourage you to collaborate and share available resources. Join your voice with ours. Yes! Hey, you give me a hug. Or... <laughs> that night, I decided to move my tent from facing toward the sidewalk to with my new friends, who welcomed me with open arms. When we moved them away from the sidewalk, we moved them to each other to make a little neighborhood. We called it Fort Awesome. Okay, so what are demands? Sure, 
got to get your money quote, got to make oh, this sound by it, make the producer <laughs> happy. What we're trying to show is that all these problems, they're, they're connected. And the first step of solving them is raising awareness and starting a dialogue. So, of course, we don't have any demands. Well, we we demand the corporations pay taxes, not pay lobbyists. We're just trying to start a conversation. So, they don't pay taxes. They wiggle through loopholes like snakes. Okay, so, um... Uh, General Electric paid a negative 19% in taxes last year. I mean, talk about your deadbeats. <laughs> talk about smoke-filled rooms. Those guys are running the whole show. I don't think you can say they're running the whole show. You know who's really running the show? No. Who are? <laughs> the CIA, no. the NSA, no. fucking Lockheed Martin. No. They're watching you right now. They're watching me. They're the no, same no, no. damn thing, man, with different names. They're the puppet masters pulling all the strings. You know what those strings are? Your iPhones, your drives, your Crackberries. You, if they advertise on your station, you're working for them. Let me see some ID. Well, I have a press pass right here. And I they deliberately never... make those things so addictive that you'll give them whatever they want. And they can track every keystroke, every Facebook live. You know, on to they, they took those security cameras in those buildings and they turned them around right here on us. Oh my god, so that one's actually true. <laughs> and, and it goes all the way to the top, man. The Masons, the Skull and Bones, they're the puppet masters pulling all the strings. The president is just a, a puppet dancing for the Illuminati. <laughs> Hi, I don't think you can. I'm Jamie. As you can see, we have a Conspiracy lot of is a balloon, man. You just got to pop it. Woo! Oh, really? As you can see, we have a lot of people down here at Occupy. I'm sorry, I wasn't on a deadline. I have to get back to the station, you understand. <sighs> Thank you so much for your time, though. What was your name? Raz. Raz, as in. Two Z's. Raz. Got a last name. Just Raz. Right. Thank you, Dad. No, thank you. <laughs> what the fuck, Raz? The fucking balloon pops? The Illuminati? I mean, are you just trying to destroy this movement? I just tell it like it is. Look, just, no! Back. I, I have no authority over you. I am just going to ask you, as a fellow member of the community, to stay the fuck away from the media! Hey, hey, it's done. It's done. He spoke his truth for what it's worth. Hey, brother, how you doing? Yeah, you gotta get some better paint. Better paint for what, brother? For the sign type. Nobody will see that stuff, and the letters need, need to be bigger. We will bring it up at the next GM. We absolutely will. How come that American flag's upside down? I, I like America, you know. I do. I guess some of us just don't recognize it right now. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. check. Mic check. 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 I think. I think. I had the wrong numbers. I had the wrong numbers. numbers. It's about the 98%. It's, it's about, about the 98%. percent Who would prefer not to? Who would prefer, prefer not, not to? to? Give a shit. Give, Give a shit. shit. So. Two days. Get a job. Just ignore her. I've become three. Why don't you go occupy a job? Just ignore her. Weeks. Look, we just want our fucking lunch space back. Get a job already. All right, you know what? I have a job. In fact, this is my second. <laughs> I am working for things I care about. OK, you know what? I'm early for work. What do you care about? Getting money out of politics. Well, then I would be out of a job. You don't want people to lose their jobs, do you? No, but I would like my elected officials to do their jobs, which is difficult when they spend half their day begging special interests for donations. Mm. We just want our fucking public space back. Whose space is this? Uh, you know, ours. People. So we're not people, but corporations are. Because you know Citizens United is going to allow corp a billionaires to decide elections. I, I mean, come on, it's the most ridiculous decision that has been handed down by the Okay, so maybe you're not a complete retard, but this guy over here is not helping your cause. And it's just bad optics, you know? If you care about the poor so much, why don't you help him get a job? Who would hire him? Clean him up, anywhere. 
Get a job at Panera, for God's sake! You, you think I haven't tried that? And you woke him up. Or at least get him into a shelter. No! No, not a fucking shelter. That's that's worse than being out on the streets. They look at me like I'm a fucking bug there. Here, at least they look at me like I'm a, I'm a park fence. Did anybody ever look at you like that? Who paid for that suit? I did. Well, who paid for this school that got you the job that got you the suit? Okay, so I've had a few advantages. I'm grateful for that, but I work hard. Oh, so the guy who's working 70 hours a week so he can afford an apartment in D.C., he is not working hard. Well, of course he is, but so what? What, sleeping in parks is supposed to help him make more money? Well, it's better than giving it to the already wealthy. Look, I have a job, I have a life, people that I care about. I cannot care about everybody in the world. I just can't. We are not evolved for that. But a better world is a better world for everybody. It's good enough. Totally so many hours in the day, so many shits I can get. Rashka Brady believes in evolution. No, it's more like social Darwinism. I don't know. Can you really blame her? What? Okay. If people have other concerns in their lives, or if they're just really stressed out, or, okay, let's, they have shits, but just not enough. Yes. yes! No, blame is the wrong word. Oh, come on! We're not sleeping in public parks to pass judgment on other people. But we don't get a better world if everybody thinks like she does. A little okay. bit of change from a lot of people can make a lot of difference. Oh. We should be telling people. All right, but a better world with a lot of change, and that scares people. That is why you have to smash the state. It won't go quiet. <laughs> yes, let me know how that works out for you. No smashing required. Just a little bit of change. A, a mustard seed of faith can move out. Oh, faith, like hell. That's why you have to act. That's why you have to fight. You fight because you believe a better world is possible. That's faith. I win. <laughs> Check. Mic check. I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear. If that NYPD cop, that NYPD cop, said get on the sidewalk, said get on the sidewalk, get off the sidewalk, or get off the sidewalk, or maybe it was one, or maybe it was one, and then the other, and then the other. I just followed the crowd. I just followed the crowd. But when that cop, when that cop. Smash my face. Smash my, my face. face into the pavement. Into the pavement. pavement. I could hear real clear. I could, I could hear, hear real clear. clear. When he started yelling. When he started yelling. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. That's when I left New York. That's when I left New York. Guys, guys, wake up! Wake up! They're evicting Ducati. What? Oh, Oh my God! They're 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 they Mm. Our police have let us be because they are used to enforcing our rights in D.C. Emergency protest tomorrow. Yeah. So we marched in solidarity with New York City, and Nancy came to her first protest. Uh, so, wonder uh, yeah, oh god, it looks like a two-to-one cop to protest a race. Guys, show. guys, guys, remember if you get arrested, be sure to yell, I'm not resisting. It's your only defense if they yell, stop resisting. Uh, well, uh, so, uh, let's get started. Yeah, um, this is a peaceful protest. 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 Can you prove it? This is a peaceful protest. This is a peaceful protest. Luckily, nobody got hurt or arrested. 
blasted at an explosion like that. But everybody was pretty pissed by the time we got back from camp. What the fuck was that about, Christiana? Protecting you. How exactly would that work? Black block tactics draw focus from peaceful protesters in the event of police violence. No, they're going to get violent if you keep pulling that shit. They'll get violent if they think they can get away with it. Meanwhile, First Amendment's still alive. I say fuck the police because the police state is fucked. Wonderful, but people on the street aren't getting so it. So we educate them. This is a revolution. We love revolutions as long as it's not here. Not now. The air is free. Okay, so you go we have. First Amendment rights. We have the right to address our grievances. We have the right. We do not have the right to redress our grievances. We have the right to believe our grievances are being redressed. We have the right to stand in line and speak in polite six inch voices so somebody behind the desk can smile and nod and make us feel like we've been hurt. I'm sorry, what's wrong with being a little bit civil? Oh, yes, we live in a civilized society, no blood in the streets, no warlords, so we want the luxury of ignoring the very uncivilized things that happen. Yeah, I've seen that. I'm pretty done with it. Democracy may not be Democracy great, but there is no... Oh, no, oh, what are we supposed to do? Monopoly on bike. Okay, cool. Chrissy, can you just Don't stop doing that? Why are you so fucking unreasonable? My 17-year-old brother was murdered. store with his fake ID to buy a pack of cigarettes. The place got held up. The government threatened to kill everyone inside. Mike was right by the door. The government turned the other way. Mike saw his chance to escape, so he ran out. The cops had a description of an African-American teenager being the gunman. Fourteen Times. They shot him 14 times. Of course, the police internal investigation found no officer misconduct, the criminal charges were dropped, and the civil suit fell apart. And Mikey never got justice. And in Oakland, that was Tuesday!
really wish they wouldn't yell, fuck the pole at you. I cry myself to sleep every night. <laughs> Still, I, I see videos of police arresting protesters for what looks like no reason at all. Why would they do that? Uh, I'm sure they have their reasons. How do I avoid giving them a reason? Stay away from large, unpredictable crowds. Kind of hard to do that while protesting, don't you think? Look, with all the rules, I've got no quarrel with you. But if you cross me, if you leave me any chance I may not make it home at night, that's a different story. If you push us, we're going to push back. You seem like a good kid. Go home. Be safe. Okay. I want to be safe, but I'm not going home. Nope. Mm -hmm. Clear the sidewalk, please. No, but you just said. Unless I say otherwise. Okay. That's not going to help anything. No, I'm just, you know, not resisting. Right. They target women, you know, to wrap up the protest. Why would they do that? Because they're smaller and they don't stand as much of a threat if they fight back. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, I know. No, I mean, I don't believe you. Officer Rashid, and I talked to him. He's a nice guy. He has two little girls. He wouldn't do something like this. <laughs> Honey, most of them are nice guys. Hell, most of them are good cops, but given a choice between law and order, they're going to pick order. Maybe we are a peaceful protest, but we are not always an orderly protest, and that scares the shit out of them. Hey, I saw a video that reminded me of you tonight from Occupy Melbourne. Like Melbourne, Australia. Yes, like Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne, Australia. All right, so uh, it is uh, this, this, this crowd of cops converging on a field of tents. And uh, just as they're about to clear the tents, these heads and hands and feet just pop out of them <laughs> and start running around because they are wearing the tents as clothing. That's right! I know! <laughs> they call themselves the tent monsters. Oh my god! I loved it. It was so beautiful and hilarious. <laughs> Plus, there's the second video. Second video? Yes, the second video is of this pretty cur curly haired girl. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And she is just surrounded by cops. And she is saying, I do not consent to this. They are taking my clothing. This is sexual assault. And then they do. They rip the tent off of her with their knives. They yank the cord through her hair, and she starts screaming, please, do not take my clothes. These are my only clothes. And somebody else calls, call the cops. Of course, it's the cops who are doing it. And when they're done, they, they, they just leave her there. They don't issue a citation. They don't make an arrest. They don't even take the fucking tent. They just leave her there, sitting in her underwear in broad daylight by herself. That couldn't happen here. That could happen anywhere. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Shit is fucked up. Shit, shit, shit is fucked up. up. And bullshit. And bullshit. Winter came. <coughs> and the novelty left. But I stayed. Everyone pulled together and I couldn't abandon that. Clap, 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 clap. Oh, fuck, oh. Hey, hand warmer, air drop. Plus, we were pulling off amazing action. Behind me on the steps of the Supreme Court, over a thousand people are protesting Citizens United, the recent Supreme Court decision allowing for unlimited campaign contributions by corporations. 
Money is not free speech. Money is not free speech. We have some hygiene issues, too. I'm going to kick the ass to whoever's leaving food around and trapping all those fucking rats. Okay, look, I have seen rats in Bethesda. A tent city is still a city. <laughs> oh, God, what smells over it? It's <clears throat> not. Damn, maybe it is. Oh, that's what happens when you're homeless. I'm not homeless. I'm living in a park. I need you to think about what you just said. <laughs> An impatient driver ran over three protesters and wasn't even arrested. And the police refused to take statements from any of the dozens of eyewitnesses from the camp. <laughs> this is bullshit! <laughs> Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Fuck the police! 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 <laughs> Has that ever helped? We lost some people. I was worried I was losing Jamie. Baby, I'm just so swamped at work. Yeah, another day. I'm a corporate treadmill of production, right? Yeah, you've been spending too much time talking to Cristiano. And you've been spending too much time in DuPont. Excuse me? Join us for real. Be a sleeper? Fuck that. I am in this as real as anybody. What do you think this is, fucking summer camp? How are we supposed to grow this movement if the only True participants are jobless radicals with too much free time. So that's what you think of me. God, no! People need to know that they can participate without giving up everything. And I should not have to feel guilty for not giving up everything. But she did feel guilty. And then this happened. After a day-long standoff with U.S. Park Police today, 31 occupied D.C. protesters were arrested after refusing to take down a wooden structure. Wow, 500 of you are watching right now. Okay, so, um, I've had five so far. Jamie and five others have taken the last stand and are refusing to come down from the roof. They're calling it Battle of the Barn. Occupiers say the structure would have been used to house general assemblies and the homeless in the wintertime. Park Police spokesman said the structure was permanent, thus illegal, and was deemed unsafe by an inspector. It's temporary. It goes up or down in an hour. Plus, who do they call for this inspection? Six people have been safely sitting on the roof all day. Tensions were high at times throughout the day. Oh my god, the horses, they are too close! Someone's gonna get trampled! Up until now, DC's Occupy has avoided the police confrontation seen in other encampments. I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but damn it, we should be able to stand up for our community in our public gatherings. Park police ultimately brought in a SWAT van, a cherry picker, and a crash pad to remove and arrest the final holdouts. Look, they're bringing in the First Amendment moon bounce. <laughs> I love you, Jamie. I love you too, Lydia. God, look, I'm shouting it from the rooftops. <laughs> I gotta pee. One protest will also be charged with indecent exposure and public urination. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a question for you. I'm thinking about becoming an anarchist. Is there a guy? Don't join with me, Private Pentecost. Hey, jail support staff. Hey, that girl. Oh, she's freaking mortified, no. and she's got hope this never gets back to her. Employer. But she is a hero. No, she's an idiot. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe we. Did that guy enough with the protest performance art already? We, we need to organize. We need to build coalitions. We need to run political candidates. What? Because MoveOn.org has the center of shaking in its boots. <laughs> no, we're something different. Remember? No primordial soup. No social change. No, we were something different, and that got people's attention, and now it's time to evolve. No, we're the soup, not the dinosaur. Uh, okay. It's our job to create the space for change, not to choose its path. And we need space to sleep. Yeah. We need space to wake people up. As the ending battle sit in space, if we no. can't sleep, we will free. Guys, are we really going to be doing this three years from now? I mean, sleeping in parks, pissing off neighbors. Probably not. Have you seen these yet? Eviction notices. It all but name. 
Jill. Fucking ice sauce. What did he do? He's this congressman in the back pocket of Maryland who's been pushing her police to enforce no sleeping. So what do we have here? Touch flat must be open. No sleeping material. No sleeping. Go. That's it. So we can't sleep here anymore. I've, I've been sleeping here for a year. Deadline in on Monday. They didn't bother me before, but now they will. We need to do something. What are we supposed to do? It's over. The structure was sound. The, the structure was really sound. I know, Abe. I know. I know. We, we didn't get a chance to paint the, the barn. Next time, man. Next time. Next time. I miss, I miss painting. Once 2008 hit, Nobody needed a painter anymore. I miss my house. Fran died, and they took it. I miss my wife. A hundred and fifty-six thousand seven hundred and twenty-two. We are supposed to be housing the homeless and putting inequality on display. So let's put on a display. Is an Occupy all about performing the crisis friend? Performing the kind of society we want to have? We are occupying people's attention. And where people's attention goes, so goes the conversation. And where the conversation goes, so goes the will for change. This is more than just a positive resistance, isn't it? This is a creative protest. The deadline is noon on Monday, right? All the press will be there. Let's give them a story. Why don't we give him a show? Let's turn General McPherson into a TED monster! <laughs> we are assembled. We are assembled. We are assembled. We are assembled. We can't sleep. We dream. We are I'm dreaming of universal health care. I'm dreaming of actually taxing banks and corporations. I'm dreaming of a world without we war. Are I'm dreaming of affordable education. We will house the homeless under this tent for as long as they will let us. We are Mic check. Mic check. Who do I serve? Who do I serve? Who do I protect? Who do I protect? Occupiers defied police orders and erected a massive painted tarp over the statue of General McPherson, which they are calling the Tent of Dreams. Occupiers came prepared for a high noon showdown, but so far, park police haven't taken any action. For now, the protesters plan to wait it out. Until Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, at dawn. Five in the morning. This shit is just a crime. crime has my For 12 hours. My tent is in compliance. Biohazard. You can't just throw it away. Unidentified liquid inside. It's fucking raining. Hey, hey, my tent is also in compliance. I'm going to get my stuff back. Take a photo ID and...
Why didn't they arrest us? Why, why did they have to do this? Off the rush. It was supposed to be the one exception. What the fuck was that? They pushed us. They just kept pushing us. And then they trampled a 14-year-old girl. Oh, baby, I saw it. I remember that. They hurt us, but we've got hundreds of cameras out there. This will not stay. Guys, please. Eat, drink, just just keep up your strength. If you need a place to sleep tonight, we'll find you one. Bagel Theory? Wow, Nancy? Thanks. I uh, saw the tweets. I just had to come down. God, are you guys okay? We will be. I know it's a bad time, but uh, can I be a suggestion box for a second? Well, sure. I'm sorry we couldn't stop your eviction, but maybe we could stop another one? What do you mean? Well, I've heard that people are now occupying foreclosed homes, and, and it's actually working. My my sister, Bank of America, is giving her the runaround, and she's going to lose her house. I always thought if she had trouble, she'd come for, for help, but now it's almost too late. I lost my house, you know. Really? Your sister deserves better. She does. Mm -hmm. And we can help her without sleeping apart. Uh, hey guys, we're allowed to sleep on the sidewalk, right? Yeah, look at the first day before we moved in. You're allowed to be homeless in this city, kind of. Right, as long as half the pathway is unobstructed, right? Okay, go with me on it. What if we slept on the sidewalk, occupied the sidewalks outside of Bank of America? Boy, so like, this is a sleepful protest? <laughs> Always with the puns, this one. <laughs> All right, guys. What we went through was very violent, but they will not break us. Mm -hmm. We lost our home. Which I know. We lost everything. I know. But we still have our symbolic touch. We still have our science. And this is on the DL. But the SEIU might be getting us some office space. That's good. That's, that's great. But it's not our home. Yeah, I know. It's going to be a lot harder to rally people from here on out without it. Oh hey, hey. Stack is open for announcements. Now let's go to GA. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. We're still here. We're still here. Bravo! All right. Okay, I'm going to shut down the stream here for you folks. Out there, thank you so much for being with us this evening. We are so glad to have had you here at Stages of Occupy. We want to let you know about this piece specifically. It is a work of fiction based on true events. So many of the things that you saw here actually happened. If yeah, you have you. any questions about what is factually accurate and what involves artistic license, please come talk to us or check out our website. We want to be totally transparent about what is true and what we took a little bit of license with to make the story flow. But most of these things, the tent monsters, Battle of the Farm, Tent of Dreams, the eviction, these things actually happened, and we want to talk to you about them. And we want to thank you for being here. We want to give another round of applause and thank Rev News. Freeman Sullivan signing off. Thanks.